Well, Mark Robinson's nearly half six at Cambridge United today after a defeat. What's been said in the dressing room? Well, the lads were obviously really upset, um, so it's important I let them speak because yeah, a lot of it was anger. So you've got to let them speak and let them get their anger out before you can start getting some um, other conversations going. So I let them speak, let them fresh it out between themselves, and then you know my job is to start them sort of picking the bones out of it and, and sort of helping them understand what bits are just anger and aren't really relevant and which bits are relevant and what we've got to improve on. So, you know, it was a it was a good meeting in terms of some voices that, you know, people are normally a little bit quiet started to find their voice, which is important. So it's important I let that run and let it happen because you don't want to be shutting people down. I want people to everyone to have a voice so that we can move on and, and start winning more football matches. Because often in interviews recently you've said you don't like to talk too much after the game and maybe dissect it during the week, but you felt the performance today warranted that? Well, it was because they were talking, and they were talking. And as I said, I thought, you know, you, you look at every situation, so there was a lot of anger in there. So I, was, I thought it was important that they, I let them just get their anger out and start saying what they thought, because then after that, then the discussion just started to flow and it allowed me to, to say what I needed to say. Um, because otherwise if you don't sometimes then they get on the coach and they go home and then you turn up. So it was important we freshed it out because they were really hurting, they were really upset, frustrated, all those things. Um, so normally I, it's like there's talk on a Monday, but the reason I normally say talk on a Monday is because I don't want to be knee jerk because I'm human, I've got frustrations. So that's why I tend to leave it for Monday, but I just let them run with it and that allowed me to calm down on certain things. And then, then we ended up having a, a conversation which I think was worthwhile having. In terms of the performance today, do you think we, in a way, we played into their hands, particularly when we were chasing a goal, or perhaps we you know, didn't try and get in behind them and cross us into the box well, too much? Well, no, they play a mid-block, so getting, there's not space to get in behind, so you've got, to, you've got to hurt them in different ways which we'd worked on in terms of how we could get momentum against them because they're very good at what they do. As I said, they, they predominantly sit in a mid-block and they break from that and you know when they get in your final third they, they can they can play. So you've got to get momentum um, so that they can't do what they, they do and I thought towards the end of the first half we did that a little bit better. So you know and the lads keep talking now about giving away cheap goals and, and etc. And they're right, they are, but also if you're fundamentally better at what we need to do on the ball then you're not spending as much time doing what they do. So, you know, the last thing you want to be doing is facing long throws and corners when they're significantly, obviously, bigger than you, etc. So if we were a lot better at doing what we'd worked on, um, then that, that stems the flow of that and we can implement our style. And today, I thought, technically, um, we, we weren't good enough in, in, in executing what we needed to do. Nestor and Ali seemed to make a bit of a difference when they came on. Were you pleased with them? Yeah, they did initially. Um, and again, you know, we, we, we you know, as I said, we've got to play them again, so I don't give that too much. But there were things that we'd worked on we needed to do, and we'd done that a little bit better for a while. And then Nesta put in, you know, a couple of good crosses, but that's a perfect example. We've, I think we've, we had the chance in the first half, and the keeper made a save, and then we've hit the post second, and Rudy's had the header. And if you look at those, they come from two quality crosses where we'd done what we needed to do. Other times we got into areas, I think we, we, the cross didn't beat the first man, sometimes it didn't even get off the floor, didn't go in the right area. And when we were hitting diagonals to, to exploit them, we were under hitting diagonals, whereas if you over hit them, okay, it might not be the perfect execution, but if it runs through for a throw, at least you'll get momentum, you can pin them in, and we can do what we needed to do. And as I said, we just didn't move the ball well enough and we didn't hit enough passes with quality, so we, you know, that's what we need to look at. I know in the past you've done a guest the attendance for the away fans, uh, nearly a thousand here today, 922. Yeah. So what's your message to them? Yeah, yeah, we're just, you know, we're deeply disappointed for them, um, and you know, we're we're desperate. You know, as you just saw, I've just done an interview, and the guy's gone to me. I didn't think it was that bad. It was small margins, but we don't want to be thinking like that anymore. You know, we cheesed off of thinking like that. We, we don't want to be fighting a relegation battle. We want to be working towards the top end of the table and get the fans really excited and reward their their loyalty. You know, it's not just how they turn out, it's their attitude towards us that's, that's fantastic. And, you know, they've stayed behind and clapped the lads again. Because I think they can see the lads are hurting and they care. But, you know, 
caring and all that is we've got to turn it into better performances and you know we, we really need to because we, we need to start picking up more wins. Scott Rapp.